I'm Ernie Fellows. I'm a rancher in Kippaw County, Mills, Nebraska is my address. When this pipeline told me as they were coming through, the first thing I thought of was that their easements were illegal because they were open-end easements that they sent me. And then I got to thinking about the Constitution. I realized that they were violating about four or five amendments to the Constitution, and one of them was my right to say no. And I don't want the pipe, for the simple reason is that if this pipeline goes through my parents' and grandparents' place, which I've inherited, it will sully the land because in this sand you can't restore this land in just a day or two or three or a year. It's, gonna, it's taken me 20 years to fix some blowouts where the sand has been ripped up. And then the endangering the fish and the animals and the pipe uh, is going to go through some of those areas as well as within 300 yards of my house. And that all that made me mad. I would never thought I was an environmentalist until this happened and now I guess I am, didn't realize it. I've always took care of the animals one way or another. And then when the land agents started coming around, the first thing they did was lie to me. They said they could get that pipeline moved away from my place, and that never happened. And then they flew through and run some cows through my fence, and I had bored cattle for somebody else. So I had to call that young man and his wife and tell them that their calves that went through the fence, we need to round them up and doctor them or whatever it took. And that kind of ticked me off because the people that were boarding cattle on my place had no idea this helicopter was going to do this. And I called the FAA and I didn't get very far with them. So that made me matter. And then in talking to the senators, we couldn't really get any help. And I, I hollered for about two years before we got Johans interested. This, this started in 2008. Nebraska senators. And our Nebraska senator, Mike Johans, in 2010, finally come on board and really got involved. But I hollered, I wrote him probably every other month. I wrote Obama quite a few times. I even called the White House about half a dozen times and I've asked them to stop this. And I have sat down and I've called every senator in Lincoln on more than one occasion, I don't know how many times. When I found out that the pipeline land agents working for Universal Field Services were using open-end easements, I turned them into the Real Estate Commission and they made them go to school for six months and get licensed, which is legal. And then the way they've handled some of the older people in the areas ticked me off because they were rude and not nice people to older people in their 80s that don't maybe have a young man to help defend them or take care of this or look into it. And then we joined a landowners group that didn't really do anything for us. I think they lied to us. So that's kind of out, and the senators of Lincoln seem to be uh, disrespectful of us. We elect them to go down there and protect us and work for us, not for themselves. And this whole thing speaks of money, graft, corruption, under-the-table payments. I don't know what all.